What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to Kurtz Question Corner, a brand new series where I answer the questions that you put to me. So let's get started. So, everyone's name that I'm about to read out, uh, you all won the 10k giveaway. So if you want to send me a message, um, or I'll send them over to you eventually, but send me a message and we'll sort that out. So, well done guys. So, if you want to help out by asking a question, stay around to the end and I'll let you know how you can do it. So, let's get straight in there with the first question. Right, so this was from Josh T. Webb and he says... What do you plan to study if you go to university? Well, I haven't completely decided yet, but I know it's going to be something in IT. I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, video editing, web design, or programming, but it's going to be one of the three. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about that one. Um, right, Liam Burns asks, uh, Liam Burns12345 even, asks, do you play football? If so, for how long? Um, I stopped playing football uh, for a team... Two or three seasons ago, um, I played for a, a while. Uh, we won the league, the cup. I got a couple of medals and trophies and stuff. But uh, we got a new manager and he wasn't great and everyone hated him. And half the team left and that included me. Um, he basically just ruined the side. So, uh, yeah, that was why I left and I haven't rejoined another team. So I don't really play football properly anymore. Um Mr. FIFA Cod says, what subjects did you pick for GCSE and how many did you pass? Right, this is going to be hard. to. So I took media, uh, IT and catering. Um, I think that's right for GCSE and I passed all of them. And then the next year I took photography, uh, started an A-level in IT, I think, and business, GCSE, and I passed them as well. So, yeah, um, Tammy19941 asks Messi or Ronaldo. So real life, uh, Messi, definitely. Um, I, his attitude's brilliant. He's a fantastic player. You can't fault him in any way. But on FIFA, has to be Ronaldo. Uh, the five-star skills, the great long shot. Uh, I, I'd go for Ronaldo on FIFA, but Messi in real life. Um, so I've no idea how you say his name. XTVMX Grifter asks um who's your favorite footballer growing up when you were seven or eight that you wanted in all the premier league sticker packs this was Thierry Henry uh no hesitation for that um he was just a legend uh obviously being an Arsenal fan I absolutely loved him so he was the one that uh that I really wanted and yeah so next question x dodec with a Z asks um, did anyone visit you at Kent Lighting no we didn't have any visitors so if you don't know what that's about on Capgun Tom's stream the one where he hit a thousand viewers uh, I was in the Skype call and um, I was trying to get some people to convince uh, trying to convince some people to come and visit me at work and loads of people said they would they got the address and stuff like that but not a single person ever visited so uh, yeah that didn't really happen um Next question is from Gudez Wins One. Uh, one second, let me just count how many we're in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh. Okay. Um, Gudez Wins One. Um, do you ever do you play COD or will you ever upload it? Well, once upon a time, I used to play COD. Uh, I loved COD Four, loved World at War, loved Modern Warfare Two. That was what I used to on YouTube. And then I broke my. This is a. I'm going to divulge in a little story, but in the start of last year, so it was FIFA 11 time mainly, um, I used to love FIFA before, but I was always a cod man over it. Well, I broke my thumb, and it was like the joint in the middle of your hand, so basically most of my hand was just unusable, and that obviously meant that I couldn't play cod, and uh, that moved me over to FIFA. I taught myself to play FIFA without a thumb um, for about eight weeks, and I actually got really good at it. I even played game battles and stuff without a thumb and um, that pushed me over to making FIFA videos so obviously now I don't do COD and will I ever upload it? Um, sometimes I want to but I don't think it'll be very well received. Uh, I know a lot of my viewers are here just for FIFA. Let me know in the comments if you want to see other games guys. I am thinking about doing like a let's play and as well as these videos like I'll have it schedule upload so you'd get to see both. Um, Extreme Explosives with loads of O's and 3's and 5's and stuff asked favourite FIFA player and favourite real life player. Um, so I, I have no idea about my fav favourite FIFA player. Wow, that's really hard. Favourite FIFA player. It makes it sound like I've got a lisp. Um, I don't know. I uh, don't know about that. Favourite real life player is going to be a close one between Omri and Van Persie. Both Arsenal legends and um, 
Also, Wojciech Chesney. Uh, he's, to be honest, at the moment, he's my favourite Arsenal player. He's just so... He's got such a great attitude. His work rate's fantastic. And he loves Arsenal, which which is good. Um, OT Dude 21 asks, who are your favourite YouTubers who inspired you to start YouTube? Um, so... There's quite a lot of people, really. I've been doing YouTube videos on this channel and on a different channel for about three and a half years. Back in the day, like, when YouTube, when there was about 15 people on YouTube, and I did videos with my Dazzle, and they were absolutely horrendous. Like, I did commentaries, and I sounded like an idiot. Like, I was, I was really bad at COD, and, like, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, and the main people that inspired me were the people right back at the start, like XCal and... Um, Wings of Redemption, one of them, Blame Truth, all them guys, they, they inspired me right at the start and my channel just didn't take off because of how bad my content was, um, which is a shame because if I knew what I was doing, I would be like the people, anyone that was doing YouTube then is now massive now, which is annoying, but uh, it's something that I've just got to get around. Um, and yeah, that they inspired me to start YouTube. In terms of people that inspired me to do FIFA, I don't know really. Um, a lot of people now it's KSI, but back in the day, like when I started doing FIFA, KSI had like 2K subs. Like me, I I remember playing with him at one point, and uh, yeah, um, the, I don't really know the big guy. Maybe Barca Boy was the big guy back then. Um, him and Phil Potto inspired me to start FIFA because I used to do compilations. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So last question by Quidol. Why is my Xbox Gamer Tag Sniper Curtains? Now, I've told this story quite a few times. Uh, basically, my Xbox is absolutely annoying. I bought it secondhand, and um, for some reason, it only likes to make American Gamer Tags. So I made Mr. Arsenal um, AFC or something like that as my Gamer Tag. And uh, when I tried to connect my debit card to it, basically, it said, Sorry, we can't, um, it's not in the right region or something stupid like that. And. Um, I tried making new accounts and checking that I wasn't doing anything wrong and all that and it just didn't work so I had to get a friend to make me the gamer tag and then I recovered it and uh, they made sure it was this region and I didn't get to choose the gamer tag they chose sniper curtains um, which is annoying and I just haven't got around to changing it I might do soon but I don't know what to if you've got any suggestions for that put it in the comments below and that's about it in the background you probably would have seen silver and bronze packs i don't really know but the question for this video uh, there's two things i want you guys to do so answer any questions that i've said um that i've put back to you guys that'd be cool and um two things firstly what sort of gameplay would you like to see on this would you like me to do different games each week or would you just like bronze and silver pack openings because they don't cost much and it's just something in the background um so let me know about that in the description below uh, the comments even so Lastly, if you could help me out massively by uh, putting any questions that you've got into the comments below, um, just put Kurt's question corner or something at the start of it and uh, maybe you can be featured in the next episode. And if you don't want to do that, you want to be more likely to uh, to get your question read out. If you want to tweet it, at Curtis Morton, um, using the hashtag Kurt's question corner, then that would be absolutely epic, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.